Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 22nd of 2023 well, it is titled NGC 1333 Stellar Nursery in Perseus. So what do we see here? Well, the blue color that we see is an example of a reflection nebula. So we are seeing a reflection of starlight off of dust around the star. So very hot stars that form emit a lot of blue light. And dust is very good at scattering blue light and not so good at scattering red light. And that makes a reflection nebula such as we see toward the top of the image here appear very red. Now this is part of a star forming region and we're seeing different sections of it. We can also as we go a little further down we can start to see some more dark dusty areas and regions where stars are currently forming. So we have stars that have formed at the top with just leftover debris around them. We have stars in the process of forming lower down. And those dark dusty regions do consist of protostars, stars in the process of formation, still collapsing, and stars that are just beginning to emerge. And we see some of them as Herbig Aro objects, as material, jets of material expelled from the very young stars that then excite the gases in the interstellar medium around it. And that glow that we see is what we call the Herbig Aro object. And they're all associated with star formation as we see in this region in the constellation of Perseus. Now, to look at these and to really see most of the detail, we need to look in the infrared. Infrared light is better able to penetrate through the dust. Remember how well the dust was able to scatter the blue light? Well, the longer the wavelengths, the less effective dust is at scattering that light. So when we look at very long wavelengths, that is able to penetrate through the dust and give us a view into the nebula. So this may be something like what our sun where our sun was billions of years ago. So 5 billion years or so ago, our sun would have just been starting to form out of a great cloud of gas and dust in space, which then started to collapse. And the st sun would have formed at the center of one of these clumps and would have been hidden from the view of distant people or different astronomers, perhaps looking from other worlds looking towards this area and would have been only able to see the dusty regions with our sun being hidden. And of course, over time, our sun broke out of that cocoon and is now visible. So stars form in a stellar nursery such as the one we see here in Perseus today. So that was our picture of the day for April 22nd of 2023. It was titled NGC 1333 stellar nursery in Perseus. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview to be cloudy day. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.